Oh, shit, I gave him 80k. Probably should have fired my one guy then. But I kind of wanted him to, my Agi 2 goblin, to send him to stand next to his own for a vampire all day. I guess he was just going to take a babe anyway. He could take two babes, though, which I probably wouldn't do, but... Probably gonna be a strange game. Damn, I was kind of hoping he would uh, let me... Oh shit, he got a plus two fame. Realistically, I just want to hit thralls anyway, so... Let's see if my blitzers can get their first casualties. Two fan factor could be a huge pain in my ass, depending on what kickoff events we get. He has no Apo. That's strange. There we go, two block hits. Wrestle guy's out here in case we get the blitz, or he gets the blitz, I should say. I think I'll probably put him a little bit closer. Not that matters, he has all the strength for it. He can two dice me no matter where, but... Hide my one blitzer. Alright. Last one to pass. Not really the kickoff event I wanted. First hit is a removal. Let's 
Still no Kaz for my poor Blitzers. So I can't get a super easy hit on that guy. I do want to do that, but a three dice is still more reliable, so. Maybe it isn't. Okay then. Uh, not really what I expected. At least none of his vampires have blocks, so hitting goblins isn't really a good hit. It's only a one dice, he still needs an assist. Oh no, that is a two oh. dice. But he could easily just move someone into base and three dice with a vamp. Which would be the thing to do. Especially with a vamp who has SPP. Like this guy. This guy's shaggy, he totally wants to do a blitz with that guy. Yeah, he can totally get right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no. No pow. He might do the both down. Nope. I guess my troll's job will be to stand up and base both those guys. Minus one to pass. Okay, so I can still do a handoff. So I need to get this guy back there. Unfortunately, the KOs aren't that useful because, I mean, he's got a babe, so it's a three plus. Damn troll. Oh, just making all the GFIs. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I do actually need to base that guy off. Probably put a couple. Troll's not stupid, which is nice. Lots of KOs, so that's something. I'll put him back here and this goblin to go sit on him here, maybe. Doesn't have a lot of thralls left this half, so if vampires start getting thirsty, it's gonna not go all like well for him. Front, so it can't hit my other blitzer. Hide you back here. Uh, so he can make a red dice. That's the best he can get.
dangerous hypno or okay, it works. Although he might just two dice him, or three dice him with a vamp. Nope. Hypno guess fails. I would not waste a reroll on that. Let's see if he will. Oh, he did. Crazy. Okay, well that's the reroll gone. So this guy needs two GFIs to reach me. I wonder where this vampire is gonna go. Oh. Oh, nowhere. Okay. So that guy is gonna do a blitz, and neither of those will be good. Definitely use a dodge. He can push me up, but that's that's a movement. So one, two, three. Oh, he can still get to it. Just can't do anything with it. I, think I actually like where that goblin's standing. I don't think he's even gonna. I think I'm literally just gonna activate him. Leave him there. There's only two more loose thralls, aside from the two that are down here, and he's getting blitzed, so... There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta hit him this way. That's fine. I have the movement. I think I'm gonna base this vampire. Or maybe this guy right here. I guess it actually depends on where this guy goes, along with this vampire. So this goblin will go here, and then he is going to blitz up. Come on, Bloodlust. Oh. I mean, that's a basically a free two dice for me, so... Well, goblin lives don't matter, so. So you are gonna base here. Actually, that was stupid, now I can't push him off the ball. I gotta go this way now, whoops. That was a mistake. Not punished for it, and I do get a pow. Not a removal. Alright, so I can get to there. Need to make the GFIs do the handoff. Uh, Troll's gonna move first to here. And activate that goblin. He's in a pretty decent spot, so there's no reason to have him do anything. Uh, I really want to hit that uh, vampire because he gave me the hit. But I need to do this pickup first. He does it. Fix that, of course. Uh, well, shit. I didn't want to do this, but it's a 4 plus with a reroll. Could just hand off. Oh, he catches it. Beautiful. Since I did use my reroll, that means I need to keep him safe. Uh, not really many safe places to be. Could put him up there. Tie off the dodge guy. Use this guy to tie off him. It's a tough one. I really just want to score quickly. But I don't want to potato the ball. It's a one dice with wrestle, which is not the worst. And there I can 
move this guy to here, or here, and put the goblin here, and then put this guy up here. You can still hypnogaze hit me, but two of his vampires are pretty out of position, so... So that's where he would go, or here. Let's move him first. Here. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can get up there, so this guy needs to go like here as well. Maybe here. But then a vampire can get on this side. So yeah, he's got to go here. Still a dodge no matter what, which is what I need to make it. And then we do the one dice, and it's a skull, which I'm just gonna take. He's fun. My players are scattered all over the pitch. I mean, if he. Oh shit, right. I totally left that spot open. I need to put this guy here. Oh well. Holy shit! Yeah, he could do that. He's got to hypno this guy first, though. Either way, I made I made him roll dice, which is what I needed to do. And I have three rats up here, so recovery's not awful. And this guy's basing a troll, so he's got to make a two plus dodge out at least. And he could fail this one, which would be beautiful. He does not. No fail bloodlust yet either. Hypno gaze works, which is really unfortunate. Now he's got the easy hit, as long as he makes the dodge, or the bloodlust. He's got to put the thrall up there so he can bite him. Or not. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Now it makes all the dice rolls. That'll do it. Hopefully the ball stays in, or even better, lands in the hands of one of those two. Ball goes out, and... Out again. And... That's a bad scatter. That's a real bad scatter, actually. I mean, at least I still have players in the area, but... Pretty bad as far as it could have gone. Although that goblin's still in a decent spot. I still have the thrower, and this goblin. I'm still technically in scoring range. Assuming the ball doesn't get stolen here. I mean, I snaked my first pickup, so he deserves to fail this. Nope. Depends on what this vampire does, I guess. Oh. Come on, fail the dodge. And a bloodlust, actually. Both of those would be nice. Nope. Well, shit. All I've been able to pull off so far is getting KOs. MDMA. Presumably this thrall's gonna... That thrall's niggled, holy shit. There we go. Not a chance I would reroll that. And stunned. Beautiful. Okay, so the target to hit is this vampire. So then let me get on the ball. So 
since there's already a goblin on him right now. But unfortunately, I will need to activate to pull it off. But... It's gonna be difficult to get that ball back since I keep snaking rolls. You here. Activate the goblin. Get the pow, which is beautiful. Push him that way and follow. And we make the cheerful. Nope, we're not doing that dodge. Uh, let's see. That guy's stunned. He's not really an issue this turn. Control's being pretty good, at least. Guy needs to be back here. Maybe basing this guy. Yeah, that's probably the best choice. And this guy needs to be right here. Maybe right here. This guy will need to stay where he is. Although I really do want to foul that vampire. It's just not a gr not a great foul. stand up. Nope. Nothing. No double at least, I guess. Mm. It could blitz me off his ball. Pretty easily, actually. It's also a 3 plus dodge for the reroll. <sighs> yeah, that's why I figured. Either one's a two dice. Neither are reliable, but definitely easy to do. Uh, no. Well, I mean, I guess that's all he needs. Push. Now his ball can escape. I'm moving seven, so I can reach the side of the pitch even with this guy, so. Alright, come on now, snake that dodge. Or ones and twos. I'm okay with that. Oh, no, he does have another way. Dodge is the easiest way. No. Nope. Hasn't actually failed a dice roll aside from the one Hypno that he rerolled. Which makes it a bit frustrating to fight vampires. Oh. It's a strange place to move in case you bloodlust. Although he hasn't failed a bloodlust yet. It still doesn't. On the upside, my team's in a pretty decent spot to pivot. I just need to knock this guy down. Come on, Bloodlust, actually fail for once. Or the dodge, either or. There we go. So that has to be rerolled. Didn't. Okay. Makes that, and makes that. Alright, well then. I'm okay with that. 
One more throw up, hopefully Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Yeah, KO. KO's good enough. Okay. Now I need this guy to fuck off. Oh, oh no. Gonna dodge through. The upside with four of them KO'd, at least one of them should stay out. Oh. <laughs> he could go touch a goblin. Probably hypnogaze me, which is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with leaving him standing there. Oh, I see. It's to make the dodge easier. Come on, fail something. Nope. Doesn't fail any dice rolls. Not a whole lot I can do against that. Oh, wait. Hold on. That may have been the thing right there. Now I think I can reach him because he made that move. Yep. Okay. It's a shitload of GFIs, though. Definitely gotta activate all my players first. This goblin is gonna go to here. So then I can activate my troll. It does. Ah, uh, this goblin. Well, honestly, that's actually safer than the two GFIs for the other support. But I need to move these guys down first. Probably leave where you where you are. This thrower, though. Uh, or I just move him here. I have a four player advantage, or three player advantage, so it's not terrible. Of course. Nope, just fail every dice roll. Okay. Bloodlust fail. Probably reroll this one. No. Okay. Should give me a one dice on the ball then. Another KO. Well, the vampires are tied up at least. The other ones. Mm. He's got to make a 3 plus to get out. So I can still get to the ball, it just sucks ass. It's a shitload of GFIs. Okay, just pushes. It's not getting me off him, which is good. Does give him a second shot at me, though. And nope, that'll take me down. This guy only has a one dice no matter who he hits. Mm. So give one dice a goblin. Whoa. There we go, finally a fail. He has to reroll that. And Nope, of course. Oh. Bloodlust fails, so if he fails any of these rolls, he's out. He 
He's out. Bye, vamp. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Alright, so thrower has range to the ball. It's not a good hit, though. with block. Ah, he's gonna do the handoff. How are you breaking chat rules? I'm getting dunked on by vampires because my guys refuse to not roll snake eyes. Fucking vamps. Uh, well that's super unfortunate. So only one guy stayed out on his side. So I have a one player advantage. Even with a three up, he shouldn't have made four of them. Fuck me. Alright, so I have two turns to score, which isn't impossible with Underworld. It's not great. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I do have enough fast players to theoretically pull it off. Oh yeah, you're very weird. That's, that's a fair point. I'm not even going to argue that fact. Okay, I'm just going to rush up this side, I think. I might actually just not even take the third hit. Put him over here. Just put a goblin there. Put him there. Just in case shit goes sideways. And put you there. Goblin can stay there in case I want to throw him or some shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Just try to push up the one side. Unfortunately, it's hard to pass because of the weather. Uh, I'm not going to turn that down. And this goblin might as well move out of tackle range.
just gotta get people into scoring range, basically. Or hope that I get it in scoring range. Ball stayed in, of course. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is go for the... Where's that guy? So this guy will go for the two dice first. Get the pow, which is nice. And stay. And... Just stun. Still refusing to get any casualties. Because they're useless dudes. Okay, works. And stay. And I gotta make this GFI. Which I make. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I can get another rat up here, so that's what we will do. I don't actually think I'm going to be able to score this half, but I want to at least set up for it. Uh, I get to there, I get to there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can hand off to him. We're gonna try the three dice. Oh, there's a stupid. Definitely not rerolling that. I got this guy's two dice, which is fine. He gets it. And stay. It's nothing. Uh, Goblin will probably move here to tie this guy down. And I think you need to stay where you are because of that. Stupid roll, unfortunately, since vampires and hypnogaze. All right, let's see if I snake another pickup. I do. Beautiful. Definitely not scoring this half. Uh, well, at least that guy didn't go down. Oh. Bloodlust. Is gonna reroll that, I wonder? Goblin's in a good spot, at least. He already did blitz, so... Although he can just gaze me and then get to my ball anyway, I think, with that guy. That was a really risky move to make without... Oh, I guess he had a guy there the whole time, but that's the guy that needs to get to the ball. He hasn't failed to hypnogaze yet. So now this guy can make two GFIs, get to the ball, of course. failed one, holy shit. And KO'd himself. Okay, well, I have a chance. Okay, so you are in scoring range. Best chance is Blitz, but I don't know how to get the assists up there. Uh, he does still have a turn, so this guy definitely needs to activate. This is probably the person who's going to get the ball thrown to him. And then i got to do a handoff to him. That's assuming I can pick up the ball, though. Let's activate the troll. Nope. Okay. Uh, who the fuck do I even blitz? I mean, I want to blitz that guy, obviously, but 
can't really get a good hit on him without... Like, I have to do this. And... Holy shit, I didn't snake it. I have to do this, one dice. I need to get at least a push. Don't want to be on the sidelines for obvious reasons. Gonna have to put an extra assist in there just so he can't hit me easily. Okay, see if I can actually handle the ball. He does. Okay, that's a fucking skills. Three plus, so I need to make a GFI. Now it should be. No, it's still three plus one. Fails it, of course. It's my only reroll. I'm not getting a score this turn. Oh, for some reason it didn't use pass. I'm not sure if I accidentally X'd out it, but it's disappeared now. Weird. Oh, it did use pass, and then he failed it anyway. This has been an absolutely wretched game, just for the fact that my guys don't roll dice. At least that happened. This guy could literally just stand. Oh, that's a bloodlust. Well, if he blocks, it's ending his turn. That's nothing. Well, at least there's that. Oh, that's the end of that turn. That'll be this half. If those KOs come back, we're gonna be even again. back, so one player advantage, which is, I mean, I'm still screwed, but I put the troll up. That's the edge two, and I don't want him on. Okay, uh, I think that's what I want to do. Not sure if I've ever failed as many ball handling actions as I have in this game. I think I did once as, uh, undead. But I think it was actually raining that game. Like, I have no reason why I failed all these things. The pass would have failed regardless. Which is fucking atrocious. I wanna hit that niggled throw. See if I can pull that off. Don't have a kicker, so just aim it for the center. Goblins get stunned. Well, I guess at least he's not getting hit. Not really a plus side. Uh, nope, that won't do it. Definitely use dodge. My only hope is that he fails to pick up the ball at some point. One more assist. I don't 
really sure why he's not using the one assist to get the three dice. Using vamps. It's the one part of this I don't really get. Oh well, time resort just hitting thralls with mighty blow and hoping they die. A failure! Ah, oh, but he actually picked it up. That's clearly the vampire he wants. Actually, he should probably do a vanity pass on that vampire. He has two vampires that can do vanity passes. God damn it. I guess I just walk him forward at this point. I could put him to the side to hug two of these guys, which is probably the better choice. There we are. Put a goblin behind him. And hit. I think I want to hit. Where's the niggle throw? There he is. That's why I want to hit. Fuck. That was a misclick. That's fucking GFI. Well, shit. Not what I intended to do, but doing it anyway. And failed the GFI for my worries. Do knock him down, though. But don't break his armor. Uh, you go to here, probably. And I want this throw up here. Protect my two throwers. Although, I don't really need to protect this thrower. Put him up against the goblin. Now I can just easily switch to the other side, because I've misclicked. Oh well. Nothing, which is nice. I could have, yeah, but I didn't want him to be based with this guy. If I had just done the blitz properly, I would have put him back here, but I totally clicked the wrong thing. Which is my bad. Certainly not what I intended to do. And it cost me a reroll for my trouble. Hopefully he'll cast this guy out. Not okay, KO, oh, good enough. Either way, he's removed. Just what I need. I can definitely leave a goblin hugging him. Oh. Oh, it's gonna blitz him. That's still only a two dice, though. He could blitz my troll. Oddly enough, if he wanted to. Realistically, I should have been throwing with opium, because I really need kick. Or, uh, picking up the ball with opium. Mm. I mean, if I could actually pick up the ball. Which, currently haven't been, but at some point, I will. Okay, so currently... That's a 2 plus, 2 plus, neither of which have... Oh, he does have a reroll ready, though. Passes, and... Nope. Well, shit. Not gonna be able to stop that. Now, what he could do is hypnogaze my troll. Not going to, though. If he hypnogaze my troll, then both these guys could just walk out. Which would free up two players without needing... Three pluses. Reroll is used. And doesn't it's no good. And he's stunned. Stun's good enough. Okay, I need to bring these guys back around. Uh bring you down to 
here. Can he score this turn? He can with two GFIs. I still have another block guy, another wrestle guy though, so at least there is that. Uh, this guy will bounce my block to here. This one's gonna walk to here. So if I knock this guy down. I can get a shit hit at the ball. Didn't knock him down, but I can base him against this goblin, which is good enough. This guy goes to here. Here? I guess it doesn't. Well, I don't want him basing that vampire. And it's gonna be a red dice. Let's turn this guy up first. I guess I could do this two dice first. Good. Which will leave him touching that goblin. And it's KO'd. Okay then. Not bad. For a hit that I wasn't actually going to make. Definitely take the red dice. Hopefully get something. Uh, if I push him back, he can't score this turn. So... That's actually acceptable. Push it back to there, and let's see, is there a way he can chain push if I don't follow? Is there a way he can chain push if I do follow? I don't think so. That guy hits there. Yeah, actually, I should stay. I still have move left anyway, so. Oh, no, it's a dodge out now. Uh, he'll just stay where he is then. And we'll do the troll hit. Uh, no, we won't. He will be stupid. I think that's four turns now he's stupided. On the upside, we did remove that one vampire, so... And this guy is no longer a scoring threat. This guy is, though. So he could just hand off to the throne. She's going to, by the looks of it. It being upstarts, I don't particularly care about winning or losing. I mostly care about uh, scores. Uh, okay, it's just pushes. Didn't follow up, which was smart, because otherwise he would have ended his turn. Oh, there we go. An actual injury injury. So, I mean, if he wants to score realistically, it's this guy makes the GFI, this guy does the throw. That's it. Or I guess he could make a 2+, plus, 2+, plus, 3+. Plus. Either way. 3 plus 3 plus. Yeah, it's either the 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus or the 3 plus 3 plus. There's no way to make it better. Okay, let's see if he pulls it off. The answer is yes. Nope, wait. Potentially. Nope. Okay then. I actually have a chance. Kind of? I really wish I had a goblin down here now that I look at it. Uh, put you to there. Just so that guy's extra tied up. Uh, there's another goblin. There's another goblin. Nope. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good roll. So I basically need to one dice this guy to push him off. Can't surf him unfortunately just because of uh, how that vampire is. Uh, so you're just going to base up the ball even more. Or sorry, it's vampire even more. Uh, I probably will go for that hit at some point, but not now. This is the hit that matters. Okay, a pal will work. And... KO'd! Well, shit. 
He's going to stand in front of the ball like that, and this guy is going to come back to here. I don't really have anywhere to go with it, though, once I do that. I need this guy to be down here. And this guy. To be here, maybe? I'm not really sure. He can get through. Actually, he can't get through. Uh, so, you're going to be picking up the ball, and then you're going to come back to here. Well, you're going to walk to where you were, but... you got to pick up the ball first, so we'll see. He does. So, I could do the throw, but the throw is significantly more dangerous than the GFI handoff. Handoff works. Uh, there is a two space there, so he doesn't make a dodge. Uh, put him here. He's an extra. I guess I can go for the three dice, too. Uh, let's see. Where you're standing, you're blocking this guy from coming down. Although, granted, so are the two guys he's in base with. I really want to touch him, but I can't really do it easily. If I get here, he can't get through, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So he can get through that way. But this guy needs to be hypnogazed, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He can still do it. Uh, the easiest place for you to be, I think, is right here. Maybe right here? He did a three dice. Go troll. Didn't hurt. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna go there. And this goblin is gonna stay with us. Ah, oh. oh, shit. I'm an idiot. This guy needed to be one square up. I mean, if he fails the Bloodlust or the GFI. Actually, the ball's still super safe, even if I do get sucked. Which I definitely do. And that's a good landing. Well, maybe. 3 plus with a reroll into a 4 plus, 3 plus. Gotta hope he fails some of these dice, which he doesn't. Oh! No, he doesn't. Well then. Let's see if I can actually do something in this game. <laughs> Probably not. And three more come back, so. Man, that babe has just been atrociously effective. And I just cannot hurt anything. These guys have never done a casualty. Neither of my blitzers have ever done a casualty. At least now he only has nine players. A fucking dodge player, though. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't put the niggle on the line. Like, why do you keep that guy? Why protect him? Okay, I don't really care all that much about that guy. Eh, we'll put him here, just in case. Oh, finally the weather changed. It's now just nice. Which is a great change. Can I do a casualty? Nope. Just can't do Cass. Don't know why, but can't. Uh, I want the troll free, so I'm free to troll up. We'll do that. I want the troll up base on that guy. That guy has been a pain in my ass. 
Okay. Guess I'll blitz the niggle. In the hopes that I actually get some SPP here. Pow. Come on. No, no. Just cannot get casualties. Either. I do like this rat, so he can go up there. This rat is gonna hug this vampire, or this goblin. All right, let's see if I can not snake a pickup. Holy shit, I picked up the ball. Shit, I put on my Agi 2 goblin. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm gonna throw it to Molly, because that's the only goblin that can get to a safe place. Fail animosity. I think I have to reroll that. And succeed in the pass. Oh, and he makes the catch. Holy shit. He did it. Go over there. There. Uh, can a vampire get to me if I'm standing there now? He's not stupid, so I don't think so. I guess if he knocks down my troll, he can get to me. Okay, add you two, goblin. Go up there. There we are. And you. He did it. He's gonna make some three dice here if he wanted to. Currently, this is looking like it's gonna be a five SPP game. Yeah, he's just gonna fish for the three dice. Would have made more sense to. Well, I guess no, he can follow up if he hits me. That's right. Oh, oh no, he's not going to. Interesting. If my case fails, I wouldn't reroll that. He did. Okay. I guess he needed it to go for my ball, but. It's still not going to be easy. Mm. <laughs> two plus, two plus, two plus. Oh, no, it succeeds all of them so far. And nothing. Okay. Goblin keeps the ball. Damn it. At least it's the Agi 2 one. If he dies, I don't really feel bad. He doesn't. Sweet. He's just going to stand up again. Ooh. Being based is meaningless on multiple sides for that guy, so... Even if he does base me, I don't really care. I'm a goblin, so I dodge out of tackle zones on a two. Or three. So I need to do one three plus dodge, do a three plus hand off. Stand up the edge two one. Don't really want to use up. Uh, he will activate. Definitely. Uh, my blitz will probably be this guy. That's only one dice. Only one dice. 
Oh, that's right, because he has a second guy in there. Cancel him out pretty easily. Now blitz him off. Which makes a lot more sense. Get the both down, which is good. Kinda need the removal though, because I still have to do the... Well, I guess I can do the backwards 3+. plus. I'm gonna play super greedy here though and go for this. And get rewarded. And follow. There we are. And then. I think I wanna hand off to this guy. way of kicking him off the ball unless I knock him down though, which is kind of unfortunate. So we're just going to do that. And, but we get it. He can touch that guy. He's done at least. Uh, this guy can get Relatively safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, can't get to me there. This guy sure can, though. Uh, so, I think I actually need to do this. Let my killer get hit, which I do not want to fucking do. I don't really want to get SPP on that thrower, though. I want it on Ecstasy. It's really tough against this particular team because he just. Well, I guess he's down to one reroll now at least, but. Put him there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a bunch of GFIs though. Off works. I think I actually need to dodge this goblin back though, because that'll completely clear the way if he gets the pow. Still, gotta do this move first. Makes it. So now you. Oh. Two, two. Dodge back to here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I, I basically have to stay on this guy and just hope that he can't pull it off. I don't really have much of a choice there, so, yeah. He could definitely hit me, especially if that goes well. Oh, shit, fuck me, right, it's movement 7. Got, at least he has to make extra dice rolls. That's the only upside here. And all his thralls are tied up. I guess he can free up this thrall. Well, on this rolls oh. here, but... Okay, it needs to fail at least one of these. Just want some goddamn SPP. Aside from the one throw I've got. Have I taken any cas? No, I haven't. Oh, but there's the pow. Now he does not need to make GFIs. Unfortunate. Had to hope he didn't, though. There was no choice but to uh, bank on it. So if I moved back, he could just walk around me and give the assist. Oh. At least he still doesn't make two two pluses. Nope, makes both of them easy. And that won't do it, though. Here comes the reroll. That also won't do it. Can push me to the side. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time getting. Actually, I won't have a hard time getting him loose. Actually, I guess it depends on what these two do. I still have a lot of players down here that can get up, so. Well, that's failed, so that guy will not be coming out. He's not 
doesn't hurt, so that's good. And now he's gonna bite his friend. He was injured. So that's good. It's basically the best case scenario for this turn. So unless this guy can pull this shit off. I still have enough players I can get over there, so it's not the end of the world. Come on, not make this roll. There we go. Beautiful. So I put this guy here. Let's see, you're moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to blitz you off with someone. That's the easiest way to do that. Uh, let's see. Need to block these guys off in case my turn goes horribly, horribly wrong. that guy off. I can't get to him without a GFI, so that's not the choice. So I blitz him up, and hopefully knock him down. This is the way to go, no GFI. These, everyone else is tied up, so hopefully I get a knockdown. If not, I have a second shot at it. I don't. Push over there and follow it. And I have to reroll that. Come on, fuck you, game. Well, not scoring this turn. Not without two GFIs, uh, I'll stand you up. And bring you over here. Fucking game, man. Uh, I mean, all he has to do is make a 2-plus pickup, and then he can get rid of the ball, but all his players are tied up. I'm fucking going for it, whatever. I made two 2-pluses two in a row, holy shit. Okay, where the fuck is that Agi 2 goblin? There he is. You can go on the line. Uh, he's got two turns, so he can definitely still score, so... But, I don't really give a shit about that, I'd rather protect my players. That'll be it. Still get to do my throw I wanted to do with my one guy. Probably won't get a chance now. At least he's running out of players, so there is that. But not because of me. I just want to point that out. I haven't actually still done any casualties. Gain a turn, so he's definitely going to score. So now I have three turns to hit the niggle throw. Beautiful. Definitely want to hit the Sorrel, though. Mighty Blow plus Niggle. Like, realistically, I should fucking be able to hurt him, but... Three plus pickup. I mean, the extra turn actually makes it likely for him to score. Well, since he did pick up the ball. He can make a two plus two plus to hand it off to the Agi guy. 
Kasparis doesn't. Hmm. You could totally do a two dice blitz onto uh, my troll if you felt like it. Okay, so you are gonna move here. Still minus edge. Okay. So you're gonna move to here. I think. Yeah, let's put you there. So you go there. If he falls down, which he does, because I will be fat like A casualty! Holy shit! Bad leader. Not the end of the world. I would have fired that guy anyway, but. Okay, this guy needs to hide back here. And. Do a three dice on this guy. Just exposing this one line rat. guy over here just to make sure he can't come in and hit cocaine. And move X to see in. And nothing. Beautiful. And I guess that's my turn. He's got a Kaz. Got a Kaz. First Blitzer casualty of the Whoa. first five games, which is so pathetic. Oh, there's Pal. Yeah, he's fine. He's also fine. I guess this must be what it's like to play against vampires that actually, like, do their job. Mine certainly don't. Uh, is he getting any levels out of this? Not currently, but he could. Well, two of them are just oh. one vanity pass away. I guess it's difficult for him now to do those, but he could have earlier. Uh. Plus works. Gonna hypno gaze my goblin for some strange reason. Nope. Oh, he's making it two dice. Oh, more pushes. Right, following it up makes it easier for me to do a three dice, which is nice. We're due for a bloodlust here. Nope. That's clearly my target then, is to just get around and blitz him. I think I should be able to pretty easily. Now I definitely can. I could try to throw a goblin, but it never works well. So. Okay, so you go to here. Goblin. Like there he is. I should probably do the blitz first. No, I should definitely reposition my guys first. Nope, not there. There. And bring the 
this goblin down here. Just so we can't slip through that. Nah, he's not going to slip through that side anyway. I'll put him on here. Put another guy on that guy. Okay. And... Not a GFI, which is nice. Really need to knock him down. And we get it. And we are going to follow. Because... And I injure him. Wow. He's badly hurt. And he regents. But there goes the scoring threat. And... Ah, fuck. Just do a casualty troll. Come on. Throw me a bone. Well, cocaine is one SPP from leveling, which is nice. Uh, might as well put you on the last guy not to have one on him. Plus three plus three plus. I mean, that's not actually that much dice roll, but it frees up this guy. Fuck it. He does it. Beautiful. I think for a second there he was contemplating the pulse down. You can do two dice on either of these now. And nothing. Oh, but now he has uh, three dice on this one, I see. I see, I see. Oh, three dice now. Oh, I guess he didn't need it. Pat was the first roll. Salvia is injured. And it is a badly hurt. Don't care about that. I'm not getting the ball. Oh, he's Agi 2, that's right. It's one assist. No, that guy can't get up there, so you will be one assist. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I have enough players to get four assists. Nice, now I'm strength seven. It's a GFI. It's a GFI. Need to knock this guy down. So first, so now we're strength five, strength six, and strength seven. That will do the most down. Unfortunately, don't get the one SPP I needed. Alright, that's still only two dice. Because I'm strength five, they're making me strength eight. I need to be at least strength nine. No, unfortunately, I should have moved that guy after. Or I go for the two dice. I'm just gonna go for the two dice. And 
Oh, I get rewarded. Up, but I don't actually get a cast. Oh, and I fail a GFI. Yep. That was a game. At least I got SPP in the end. And basically all on players I wanted it to be, so I'm okay with that. I got a 1 though, which is shit. Uh, great MVP. So, can't complain about that. All the MVP, all the SPP was on positionals. Let's see, I failed 4 pickups, 5 dodges, 2 KOs, 3 passes. One animosity, three stupid. I mean, the stupid's that's a pretty decent ratio, actually. The pass is fucking atrocious. And the dodges are... These are really, really bad. Block dice were, I mean, pretty average. Can't really complain about that. Aside from the fact that I got so many double pushes, like, in the same area. His block dice were actually a bit worse than mine. I had way more armor breaks than him, but all I got was KOs. Eight KOs. I think two of those were to himself. And I know the injury was to himself. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for those of you that stuck around and watched, and uh, have a good one.